Hi, this is John with Estimator. I had a user ask how to use Estimator with masonry and calculating uh, quantities, doing quantity takeoffs uh, for masonry. And um, so I thought I'd do just a quick example using materials. You may model your geometry for your uh, brick or your CMU in a different way or uh, however you want to do it. But this is a case of just doing it by uh, materials, by a simple area calculation. So on the left, you'll see a CMU wall uh, face and on the right, a brick face. And we're just going to be using this texture, which it could be a color, it could be anything that makes sense to you. Uh, this obviously visually is CMU, and this is obviously visually brick. So I have this texture file called CMU, and when I click on that face, you'll see all of a sudden I have a cost over here. But let's break that down into uh, uh, what you can get out of this. So in this case, um, I've chosen this face, which is CMU material, so that will show up in the material selected. I put a cost code in for masonry, and the first thing I did was said CMU 8x8x16. By 8 by now this may be a different size block, whatever block you want to be uh, using. Uh, we don't have any thickness to this wall, and this is just a face. So let's just assume we're using 8x8x16 by 8 by block. I choose my vendor, um, which can be your own vendors that you can upload into Estimator. In this case, it's bluestone block for me. I'll use the attribute of square feet, which you can choose from the drop-down box. And I'm using, in this case, 1.125 block per square foot. So um, $250 a block. Don't know what the current price is right now, but I put a price in there. You, uh, the units displayed, put a waste factor to it, whatever you're comfortable with, and sales tax in my case, and save the changes, which comes out to 99 block and a total dollar amount of $260 for the block. All right, the power of estimators is that you can add as many associated costs as you want. So in this case, you can click this plus button in here, which I did to create the second cost, which was labor. So I chose to go in and use, um, use the square footage attribute, and again, the number, same number of block to get a cost per block, and um, save the changes. And then there you can see it's 90 block at $270. And you can put that same waste factor and round it up. Then I added another cost, in this case, for sand, uh, for instance. Um, there's my, uh, my vendor. I'm using the square feet. Figuring out the number of block, and it's basically uh, for, for sand, it's like 1,000 pounds per 100 block. So I just rounded that to 1,000 divided by 100 is 10, and then divided by 2,000 per pounds per ton so that I could get the amount of ton of sand I need. I didn't do block in there. But you could further come in and add another associated cost. And let's just say it's masonry. And uh, let's say that it's CMU mortar. And we can choose our same vendor in there. We're going to use our square feet attribute. We're going to times it by 1.125. That'll get us our number of block. And then in terms of the number of bags of mortar, uh, you, whatever your rule of thumb is, maybe you know three bags per 100 block. So I'm going to say times three divided by 100. What's a bag of mortar these days? Maybe seven bucks each. Put a waste factor in there to beef it up a little bit. Sales tax in this case for me. And you can see that that would be three bags of mortar. And this math and the multiplier is whatever you're used to doing in your market. Uh, but that gives you a quick example. Then if you ran a report on this, say choose the HTML report, you can see I've got the quantity of block, and my, my labor, the amount of sand, and the amount of mortar. So that would be for, for the block. And then you basically do the same thing for the brick. Sim similar type things if we go to materials. Let's go and see that we, um, let's choose back to the beginning of here. I've used the area, the attribute of area, uh, times six, six brick per thousand, whatever your count is for your brick. In this case, I'm just using six brick per thousand, uh, assigning a cost and a waste factor. So it's about 528 brick to do this wall at a dollar amount, $222 based on 40 cents a brick or whatever your, again, your, your current rate is. Um, this was just a quick example. And then the added associated cost plus button. Again, use the attribute of square feet. In this case, figure out how many bags of mortar. It's seven bags per thousand. And again, this multiplier is very simple math. It can be um, whatever you want to make of it. You may make your own formulas, store those for future use. Um, cost per bag, 
waste factor intact, so four bags of mortar to do this brick. Uh, then I added another associated cost for sand, um, following all the same guidelines we did before. We're calculating how many tons of sand, in this case a ton of sand, to do that wall. Uh, in this case here, I added brick ties. So um, I'm not sure about brick ties, I just did a 100 count pack, approximately 15 bucks a pack. So did all the math to figure it up and divided by 100 for how many of these packs of ties I need. Again, it's however you figure it in your market. So in that case, when I run a report, I can see how much the brick materials are in this case. Okay, I mean, you could also add your labor in there. But I wanted to give you a quick example of uh, masonry being calculated using estimator. Now that we have our costs associated with these uh, different materials, in the future, when you paint a surface, it's going to automatically know these prices. So and also if you were to save these materials in your template file, along with your layers that have costs associated with it, the next time you build a model and you use these, surf uh, these materials to texture your model, you'll instantly have your price. For instance, if you come over here, you see I've got a little simple wall set up over here, but if I was to paint this with the CMU face and select this area here, you'll see it's $2,500 worth of block material and labor. So that's just a quick example of how to use Estimator for SketchUp to calculate masonry. Thanks for watching. Thank you.